This reading is from Jonah, chapter 3, verse 10, to chapter 4, verse 1 to 11. Nineveh turns from its wicked ways, and the Lord has to remind Jonah about his mercy. God saw what they did. He saw that they turned from their wicked ways. So God reconsidered his threat to destroy them, and he didn't do it. Jonah was very upset about this, and he became angry. So he prayed to the Lord. Lord, it isn't this what I said would happen when I was still in my own country. That's why I tried to run to Tarshish in the first place. I knew that you were a merciful and compassionate God, patient and always ready to forgive and to reconsider your threats of destruction. So now, Lord, take my life. I'd rather be dead than alive. The Lord asked, what right do you have to be angry? Jonah left the city and sat down east of it. He made himself a shelter there. He sat in its shade and waited to see what would happen to the city. The Lord met God made a plant grow up beside Jonah to give him shade and make him more comfortable. Jonah was very happy with the plant. At dawn the next day, God sent a worm to attack the plant so that it withered. When the sun rose, God made a hot east wind blow. The sun beat down on Jonah's head so that he was about to faint. He wanted to die. So he said, I'd rather be dead than alive. Then God asked Jonah, what right do you have to be angry over this plant? Jonah answered, I have every right to be angry, so angry that I want to die. The Lord replied, this plant grew up overnight and died overnight. You didn't plant it or make it grow, yet you feel sorry for this plant. Shouldn't I feel sorry for this important city, Nineveh? It has more than 120,000 people in it, as well as many animals. And these people couldn't tell their right hand from their left. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This Bible reading is from Matthew chapter 20, verse 1 to 16. A story about vineyard workers. The kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out at daybreak to hire workers for his vineyard. After agreeing to pay the workers the usual day's wages, he sent them to work in his vineyard. About nine o'clock in the morning, he saw others standing in the work marketplace without work. He said to them, work in my vineyard and I'll give you whatever is right. So they went. He went out again about noon and three o'clock in the afternoon and did the same thing. About five o'clock in the afternoon, he went out and found some others standing around. He said to them, why are you standing here all day long without work? No one has hired us, they answered him. He said to them, work in my vineyard. When evening came, the owner of the vineyard told the supervisor, call the workers and give them their wages. Start with the last and end with the first. Those who started working about 5 p.m. came and each received a day's wages. When those who had been hired first came, they expected to receive more. But each of them received a day's wages. Although they took it, they began to protest to the owner. They said, these last workers have worked only one hour, yet you've treated us all the same, even though we worked hard all day under a blazing sun. The owner said to one of them, friend, I'm not treating you unfairly. Didn't you agree with me on a day's wages? Take your money and go. I want to give this last worker as much as I gave you. Can't I do what I want with my own money? Or do you resent my generosity towards others? In this way, the last will be first and the first will be last. This is the word of God. Thanks be to the Lord. Amen.